Hello, this is Dr. Tim Holmes for your health. The subject is SIDS. Is there a prevention? Is there a way of becoming aware of certain symptoms that can cause possible SIDS? The medical community has known that a baby on its stomach, sleeping on its stomach, is more apt to die of SIDS than one that does not, but they're not sure of the reason for that. And I, uh, I would like to suggest why that is. Hiccups could be that very key. A baby, when it's first born, hasn't been using its lungs inside their mother's womb, so the body will compensate by having the baby hiccup. The hiccup will draw oxygen into the body. Now that hiccup occurs when the brain sends a message through a nerve that goes through your neck, the C3, C4 area of the neck, to the, what's called the phrenic nerve. And it's the phrenic nerve that causes that spasm in the diaphragm to cause that hiccup. When the baby hiccups then, again, it's getting enough oxygen. If a baby is not having hiccups, it's one of two reasons. Either it's getting enough oxygen, or it's possible that that nerve could be compressed between C3 and C4 in the neck. And the baby lying on its stomach with that head rotated will cause further compressions and the less likelihood that that baby will have hiccups. So how do we check for that? You can actually have um, a doctor palpate down through the neck and they can palpate and find that vertebral body of C3 or C4 and it'll be rotated or out of alignment. I had a case and about, I thought about this about 10 years ago, 10 to 15 years ago when a patient brought her baby in, three month old child uh, because, because of ear infections. And I palpated the baby's neck as a little boy and as I came up the neck and I said, that's interesting, his, his hiccup bone is, is malaligned, misaligned. And she said, his hiccup bone, I said, yes, when was the last time he had hiccups? And she said, he's never had hiccups. And so I went ahead and I adjusted that. I loosened up that C3, C4 bone. And as she was placing the baby into the, uh, the baby's um, carrier, into the safety seat, the baby started hiccuping. And again, the child is about, he's about 12, 15 years old now and doing fine. Uh, I had another interesting case where the, this was a few months ago where her mother came in and she, her baby, her little boy had died of SIDS. And I asked her, did he ever have hiccups? She said, out of all of my children, he never had hiccups. Again, the hiccups are a way to, to uh, guarantee that that child is going to get oxygen. If you have any pressure on that nerve that goes to the phrenic nerve, which comes, again, from the brain through that C3, C4 area, and it, if that's obstructed in any way, there's no communication to that diaphragm, and there will be no hiccups. So again, if there's no hiccups, that could be the red flag. One of two things, either he or she is getting enough oxygen or there may be a, a, some pressure on that nerve and that, those hiccups are not occurring. This is Dr. Tim Holmes for your health.